what's going on youtube it is your boy josh back with another video and today you guys see we have somebody who hasn't had a haircut in a couple months about to give him a major transformation give him a high fade but if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please make sure you guys go down and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on let's get it so we're going to start by knocking down all this overgrown bulk that we don't need for the haircut knocking it down to about a number three guard with the lever all the way open going with the grain and just making sure i go over it multiple times to ensure that all the hair is cut evenly and we're just going to do this all the way around the head If you guys are liking this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help your boy keep growing. So since we're giving him a high fade, we don't need much book on the side. So we're going to go ahead and go in with our number three guard. But this time go against the grain with the lever all the way closed. And just clear out all this unnecessary hair that we don't need. And set up our shape and our foundation of the haircut. Midway through this process, I end up closing the number three guard because I wanted to create, you know, some transition before I started to fade because I didn't want it to be like too divided. Because sometimes when you take out bulk with one guard, you kind of leave it real divided right there around the parietal ridge area. And I didn't want to do that. So I kind of went with and against the grain to get some transition in this fade already. Setting in my first guideline in the fade, I'm using my cordless wall detailers, setting in our ball line, and we're giving him a high fade, so we're not going to be keeping a C cup, and we're not going to be making it a drop fade, so we're going to keep it kind of high, going around the occipital bone in the back of the head, not going too high. So right here, I just came in with my gold babbler's trimmers. I wanted to use these because I feel like they take off the bulk a lot better than the cordless detailers do. Coming in, setting in our next guideline, I'm using my cordless magic clips, and I'm going in with the lever all the way open, going up about a half an inch with no guard on, setting in our next guideline. And like I say all the time, I keep my guidelines balanced, so I keep the width of it the same all the way around the head. Taking out this guideline, I'm going to come back with the same clippers, but with the lever halfway closed. And we're going to start up under the line and flick up to the line. As you guys can see, I'm focusing more on the middle of that guideline. I'm not going up all the way unless I open a clipper all the way to do some detail work. But usually I have the lever closed halfway and I'm just really focusing on the middle of that, gu of that guideline. You close the lever halfway or whatever gets the, um, your guideline out the best and then you just flick up but you stop like in the middle so you can create that transition that quick transition from short to long hair so our next guideline is going to be with the number one guard with the lever all the way closed using my wall magic clips again and going up about another half an inch and as you guys can see i made this width look exactly the same width as the previous guideline so usually i kind of measure out my fades depending on where i put my ball line so from there on i can see each transition that i'm going to use because i usually fade each increment in half an inches so yeah that's why i did that you guys know after using that number one guard all the way closed to take out that guideline you come back with that half guard a lot of times i start with the lever halfway closed before i close it all the way using the half guard it just depends on the hair texture but in this case i use the all the way closed too So right here I have my number three guard on, just setting up that fading down process. And if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, when we took out that bulk, I started with the number three guard. So this is where that's gonna come in handy because I'm gonna fade down from this point on. 
So I start with the number three guard, making sure that I get all the bulk clean. I want all the hair even because if anything is out of whack, when I come back with the next guard, it might leave dark spots. So right here, as you guys can see, I got my number two guard on. I, I got it with the lever all the way open, coming right behind that number three guard closed, just starting that fading down process and we going to work. And midway through this process, I end up closing the number two guard all the way because that is part of the fading down process. I start with the number two guard open, then I drop down to the number two all the way closed. And then I come in right here, as you guys can see, with the one and a half guard. I start with it all the way open and go right behind that number two guard and just go all the way around the head and then eventually close it and do the same thing. So right after I used the one and a half guard, I come in with the one guard with the lever all the way open. If you guys remember when we did that guideline with the number one guard, I didn't do it with it open. I only did it with it closed. So right here is that gap that, that we're bridging together using that one guard open, connecting it to that one and a half, making this a whole fade and everything just, just falls together. If you guys understand me and just really pay attention to what I'm giving you guys, you will see that it's all like a puzzle piece when I do this. So right here, I'm gonna go with the grain with the number three guard with the lever all the way open and just go around like the parietal ridge area because some of the hair is like puffing out and I don't want that look. I want it to look contour to the head shape. So we're gonna go in and just go with the grain and then I'm gonna go in with my clipper doing clipper over comb. A lot of times when I use clipper over comb, it's for these situations like this. When I have a high fade, but I don't wanna push it up any higher, you know, using the guards, trying to use a bigger guard. It just, you know, I feel like I have more control and I can see what I actually wanna blend with the clipper over comb. Once you get good with that, you will start being super detailed with your fade and just super accurate. So right here, we're fading the beard in. Like I told you guys before, I think on the last video, when I'm doing the beard fade, it's kinda like doing the fading down system, but going upwards. So I look at the height of the beard and I determine the biggest guard that I wanna use to like fade, you know, because if you use a smaller guard, it'll put a gap in the beard. So I start with the biggest guard and I just fade up until I get to the ball area. And then that's the fade. As y'all can see, man, we've made it to one of the best parts of the video, the hairline. And I'm using them gold babbless things for the hairline. And y'all can see we already got my boy Crispy. We're going to be leaving this haircut natural, no enhancements, but we're going to be adding that nice razor line to it. Let's get it. So right here, we're gonna hop right into that beard line and this right here was super satisfying. It's like, as soon as I put that crispy line on it, it took that scruffy look away immediately like magic. Make sure that we get that beard right, man. He wanted to keep it kind of high, even though it wasn't thick all the way. Y'all can still see that line. And once we put that razor line on it, it's going to be crazy. But it's already looking good. Like I said, we're leaving this haircut all natural. But I'm about to go in with my razor and put a nice crispy line on it to make sure that we get this haircut to last as long as we can. Well, YouTube, this is the before. This is how my guy came in and sat down. And if you guys have watched the video with me up until this point, I really appreciate you guys. And y'all watched me transform him from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. But without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments. Rate it from a 1 through 10. Leave some fire emojis. Whatever y'all want to do to show your boy some love. And if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber like you guys see on the top of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys learned something. It's your boy Josh and I'm out.